name's Jonathan Stewart, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to split a video up into several parts, rather than using a free online or purchased um, video splitter. A great example of why you would do this, let's say you want to teach students how to trace of a video, like say a music video, and you want, you've got say 45 students, and you want to give them say 50 frames each or two seconds of video, you can split the video up into parts, um, and then use uh, using Adobe Media Encoder, which I'm going to show you in this video, you can then give each student part of that video. So here's an example, we're in Adobe Premiere at the moment, Adobe Premiere CS5, not the latest, but still an excellent version, and I've got a video here, and um, what I'm going to do is split this up into four parts using the razor tool, I'm going to press C on my keyboard, so let's just split it up into uh, five different parts, there, 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 and there, alright, so we've got our uh, five partitions in there for this video. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open Adobe, uh, I'm going to save this project and I'm going to save it to my desktop and call it, well, let's, let's call it um, splitting video example and press save, that's now on the desktop. <coughs> Now simply open Adobe Media Encoder, and what I want you to do is not add anything. Press File, and we're going to add the Premiere Pro sequence into this. I'm going to choose um, choose Desktop, which I've done already, and now we've got the Adobe Premiere project file here on the desktop. All right. So what it's done, it's it's loaded this example up here, and I'm just going to get back and do one thing because the parts haven't moved into the sequence, and what I forgot to do is nest these clips, so I'll just do this now, so I'm just going to right click on each clip, right click, and nest, right click, nest, I was trying to work out why they weren't showing up. So again, file, add Premiere Pro sequence, load the Premiere Pro file, and now you should see the nested clips underneath the sequence. I may need to save this one more time. It's all trial and error, isn't it? Let's do that one more time. Cancel, file, add Premiere Pro sequence, there we go, I just hadn't saved the Premiere project file. What I want to do is select the nested sequence files, hold down shift, remember there are five parts of the video, so we have five parts here, and I'm going to press OK. These will now add to Adobe Media Encoder. Now I would use Adobe Flash to do any rotoscoping or tracing of a video, so I would want to change the format to uh, from H.264, which is the MP4 format, and I would change that to FLV. So I need to change, actually I need to change this to FLV. So I'll change all these to FLV. And I'd actually change these to FLV as well, because it's the only format that Adobe Flash Professional um, <coughs> Recognizes in Adobe Flash, by the way, you'd go File, Import Video, and choose FLV and Embed in Timeline. And um, I have another video on YouTube which explains how to import video into Adobe Flash. Just Google on YouTube um, DigiSchool Tauranga or Jonathan Stewart and put in those keywords. All right, now I can press Start Q and it's going to encode, convert these files, which were 8.264 MP4, to FLV, which Adobe Flash will now recognize. Again, if you wanted to import these files into, say, Photoshop or another program, you need to convert it to the format that 
you want to use in those other programs. So Adobe Photoshop likes recognizing QuickTime files, so I'd change the format to .mov. And that's just encoding the first one. So in this example, what I've shown you is how to split these clips up using the razor tool. Then by right-clicking on each clip, you need to press Nest. And then you have to save the project file. Then in Adobe Media Encoder, so I'll just remove all this. It's good to have things twice and not once. When someone teaches the tutorial, we want to go File, Add Premiere Pro Sequence, find where you save the sequence, select the nested clips, like so, press OK. They will now load into Adobe Media Encoder and you can encode them. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it's useful for your students or your own professional experience with ICT. Thanks.